Hey y'all, Ergon Angie with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV. This here is the Umarex Forge. It's a 177 caliber brake barrel springer. And it's actually my first air gun. And you guys might be asking me why I don't have a scope on it. If you keep watching, I'll show you. Okay guys, so the reason I do not have a scope on it is because I wanted to share some very important information. You guys go out and you get a new springer and you go to shoot it. If it's got the option for open sights, you want to take advantage of that because you want to check the quality of your gun before you mount a scope on it because if the quality is no good, the scope's not going to do you any good. Another thing about springers if you, is you need to run a couple hundred pellets through them to break them in before they actually are settled and you'll find their true accuracy. So without a scope, open sights, if you have the option, is the best way to do that. And the Umarex Forge has the TrueGlow Micro Click fully adjustable sights. And I'm going to shoot the RWS Super Domes. These are 8.3 green. And it's important to start at 10 yards. You want to get close and comfortable. And then as you get it sighted in, as you get the accuracy that you're wanting, you move back and see how far back you can get and still get nice grouping. Before you shoot it, you want to make sure your hold is right and consistent. So you're going to balance the gun. So that's how I'm going to hold it. Most air guns don't require a tight hold. You just hold it loosely, let it rest there, and when you pull the trigger, you want to make sure that you're not making any difference in the hold. You're not pulling the gun one way or another. Alright guys, so we did 10 yards, we were close and comfortable. And for consistent accuracy, it takes a consistent hold. So a lot of the times the problems with accuracy is not the gun, but the shooter. Shoot your Springer without a scope on it first if you have the open sight option because it will show you if your gun is inherently accurate or not. And this one I'd say is inherently accurate. It's kind of hard to tell if it's not shooting well, it's hard to tell if it's the scope, if it's the gun, if it's the shooter. A lot of times it's the shooter we don't hold consistently which will definitely affect our shots. So I would encourage each and every one of you, if you get a new Springer, it has open sight options, shoot it open sight it, get it broken, and then put your scope on it. Then after you take care of business, it's time to have fun. Mm -hmm. 